excited to have our next member spotlight on the Nevada Homeless Alliance. Uh, in the affordable housing world, of course, affordable housing and homelessness are certainly different, but the intersections, the overlap in the work that we do around education and advocacy is, is real. And it's why it's so great to have a strong partner like the Nevada Homeless Alliance. And it's my pleasure to introduce Katrina Grigsby Thedford. Katrina is the new executive director for the Homeless Alliance. And I think when you get to know her today, you're gonna just uh, fall in love with her as much as I have um, and the whole organization and the direction you're going, Katrina. Katrina, to kick us off, can you uh, tell us a, a little overview of the Nevada Homeless Alliance? Well, Christine, thank you so much for inviting me. Um, fun fact, the Nevada Homeless Alliance has been in, in existence for 30 years this year. Um, we began in 1992, and we've been working in, in the uh, community since then, convening community partners and um, having our Project Homeless Connect events, um, making sure that we're collaborating uh, across the spectrum with state, local, and community providers to provide best practices for individuals experiencing homelessness, as well as the community providers who are assisting. Um, we also advocate on behalf of any issues related to homelessness um, to try to reshape policy in our community to ensure that individuals are, you know, getting uh, their needs met um, on all spectrums of, of homelessness, all the way from housing to income. Um, to just best practices and getting better services and whatever that means to assist our vulnerable populations with having a better quality of life. That's awesome. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's do. very fulfilling. Yes. Thank you so much. Welcome. Um, and, and in addition to that overview, can you perhaps highlight something unique or interesting that those here watching our member spotlight might not know about the Homeless Alliance. So Nevada Homeless Alliance, we also have our policy council on homelessness where we, we talk about um, different issues in relation to policy that can assist this population. We provide training on best practices to community providers. We have an online module of um, best practices um, to use for case managers to use when working with individuals experiencing homelessness. Um, again, to hope for better outcomes. Um, we also do direct practice. We have our local events in the community. Um, here recently, we've been ho hosting COVID pods um, and ensuring that individuals are getting their vaccinations, uh, obtaining access to needed services such as housing assessments, uh, medical insurance. And here soon, we're gonna be uh, assisting with barrier busting which would look like assisting individuals with obtaining those documents they need to move forward in life, such as birth certificates and IDs. So we're really excited um, to take on that new task to help the population get those items they need because without your ID and birth certificate, you can't get health insurance, you can't get employment or housing. And so we're assisting with um, all those things. And so that's something very exciting that's upcoming. That's huge news. I heard one story that it took one person without documents a year. And without documents, what can we do? I mean, you can't even apply for assistance, really. Exactly. So, and, and one of those main barriers is individuals experiencing homelessness does not have an address. So we're looking to address that and working with the post offices and different community providers so that individuals can receive their mail and move forward with obtaining those vital documents. That's awesome. Well, again, appreciate your membership in the coalition. And of course we work side by side in a lot of the work that we do, but as a member, you must have some expectations and hopes as we work together. And when you think of the work of the coalition, what are your hopes uh, for the coalition here as we look forward into 2022 and beyond? Well, I am, as you said, new to the coalition, I have con conducted a little bit of research to see things that the coalition has done in the past. But what I would like to see is stronger, stronger advocacy around uh, rent control and rent stabilization. Um, and I, I like the fact of including uh, 
input from people with lived experience with homelessness. I think their input is very vital. And so I would like to see more input from those individuals and um, about their inability to secure housing due to the current policies and barriers. barriers. So maybe some testimonials and things like that around individuals with that lived experience of homelessness and, you know, um, just barriers, barriers and challenging to locating housing. I think their voices should be heard and that's vital in, in shaping policy today. Oh, thank you so much. And I'll be counting on you because okay. certainly <laughs> making sure that we are listening to those we're serving and not just listening, but also amplifying their stories and voices um, so that we are best serving those in need is, um, is something that I've had my eye on since I started and, as well and something that I hope we can grow. So thanks for that. And we can work together on that. Absolutely. And just to wrap us up here, Katrina, um, I know not everybody knows you. You're fairly new to the Homeless Alliance. I think, when did you start? October, September? November October? 29th. So we oh, no. may as well say December 1st, but oh, yeah, my November gosh. 29th. So November 29th. But yes. when I first met you, I was like, oh my gosh, but would you share with everybody um, your personal story and your personal yes. connection and lived experience? So I am a person with lived experience of homelessness, substance use, and incarceration. Um, I moved to Las Vegas from Seattle in 2000 um, after some traumatic events. And um, I came to Las Vegas just to get away from Seattle. What I didn't, didn't know then is wherever I went, I took me with me. So when I came to Vegas in 2000, um, I experienced literal homelessness for about nine years, uh, in and out of institutions, uh, ongoing, out of control, substance use, and I was literally homeless. Um, so I slept wherever I could, and I didn't have any ID <laughs> because it was stolen or lost, you know, due to that lifestyle. And there were just so many barriers to me to get any assistance, plus the fact that I wasn't ready for assistance and didn't recognize that I needed any help. It wasn't until 2009 um, that when I finally made a decision to get my life in order, just through to, due to living that way for so long, I finally came to the decision um, that I needed to change. And so I've been hearing, the, hearing this from my family and from other people in the community, you need to get help, you need to get help. And it wasn't until I was ready that I got help and went to rehab. And you know, I stayed in transitional housing for two years through the Salvation Army, eventually got my first apartment. And, you know, today I have 12 years clean and sober. Um, I started off when I went to rehab with the GED. And now, um, since 12 years, I've obtained my AA degree in psychology, my bachelor's in social work, and my master's in public administration. And I'm actively um, pursuing my doctorate in public policy at UNLV. So through all the, the pain and the crazy things that I went through in life, you know, those experiences um, built me up to be the person I am today. I'm very passionate to help those who are underserved and our vulnerable population. And so my lived experience um, kind of saved my life. You know, now I have a, a path and a um, passion. And, you know, again, you know, without having those experiences, I wouldn't be the person I am today, who knows what kind of person I will be. Um, but that's where my passion comes from. I've been there. I have that lived experience. I know what it feels like. And so, and I have a lot of years in direct practice of working directly with individuals, but to be on this side of the fence and, and working on policy and creating programs for the individuals is, is truly, um, it touches my heart. And it's just, I, when a passion and career comes together, like you can't be stopped. And, and that's exactly where I am today. Awesome. Well, I guess it's only been a couple months. It feels like I've known you longer, Katrina. But I never I, meet a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> I am really looking forward to working alongside of you and impacting yep. it. Thanks for sharing your personal journey. It inspires awesome. me. And um, I, I'll be counting on you. And we're grateful for your membership in the Housing Coalition. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much for inviting me to do this. And, and thank you for uh, allowing me to be a part of the uh, coalition.